Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria with the Looks for Tay Games. On the last episode, we headed through the Barnak Plateau in order to find Aizen who had run off after his raid. And we ended up here at the Tower of Loringen, where um, we encountered the exorcist Melchior, fought some wyverns, saw some illusions, you know, just that kind of stuff. Um, let's have a look at our expedition because that came back between episodes. Take a look at this. Nice! There's no better victory than a safe return. Nice. Okay. Uh, we still don't have the attachment here. Come on. <laughs> Scout ship setting sail. All I want is the attachment. Anyway, we have to head back to the Van Eltia at Port Renid. Um, do I have to run all the way there? Probably. Uh, yeah, I think I do. Yeah, there'll be something happening on the way there, probably. Might as well start running. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's a warp point or anything, so we'll have to go the long way. I thought I saw something for a second there and I didn't. Oh, there's definitely stuff on the way there, now I remember. I'm an idiot, sorry. Let's keep running. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a skip here. I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all. But do you know anything else about it, Ropero? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... kablooey! Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. What I find interesting, now that I think about it, is that Zavid was able to use Siegfried here in order to um, power up the wyvern to make it run away and also to you know, make the Malak turn back to normal, have their free will again. However, in Zisteria, maybe it's because it's a... Uh, not a dragon, maybe it's because it's a, a human hellion. But in Zisteria, the first time you meet Zavid, when he uses Siegfried against the hellion, it dies. I think it was a human, so it might be because of that. Maybe because it wasn't a, a dragon type. But it's interesting that it could be used to power up one demon, dragon demon, but it will kill another one. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a look at the skit here because, you know, we gotta. Um, it's the girl with the umbrella. Um, Laffy said? May I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like Vel- Ah! Uh, shh! What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on now. Like a wife he wants to leave, but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is a daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside or who cast him aside. And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children, but they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, 
Beware of girls, Lafayette. Right. That escalated very quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, that those were some wild guesses, but I, I don't think they were quite on the ball. <laughs> oh, there's something here. Uh, tails coins, my favorite. Actually, I ended up getting loads of tails coins, and that's what I spent on the freaking Norman suits. So why not? always use some more. Can I? No, I can't walk back yet. There must be another skip. Oh man. Okay, fight me. Oh, we have a, a thing. Um, I don't think... Oh, there are some new NPC conversations as well. Hi there. It looks like the Corsair Scourge has lifted. I'm glad to be of service, but if the Abbey finds out about this, it'll do me no good. Now get going before they see you here. Good idea. I don't need to buy anything. Uh, I could buy some enough balls. You know what? I have eighty-five thousand gold. I'll buy some enough balls. Okay. Err. Uh, I am saving up my money so that I can enhance and dismantle when I get around to that. Hi. I just heard the most frightening news: Loring and suffered an attack by demons. Lord Melchior was there, but the culprit still escaped. Wait, that means there are demons out there more powerful than an exorcist legate? But surely Shepard or Torius could overcome them, surely, right? Word travels fast around here, doesn't it? Hey kid, how's he doing? Oh no, my treasure. I bet it was like a... A copper coin, a chipped copper coin, and he's lost it. <laughs> oh, you'll never believe it. When I was on Burdak Plateau, I spotted a dragon with huge wings flying away. Renee would be helpless against such a beast. We need to ask Lord Melchior to slay it for us. Mm -hmm. I don't get the feeling he's gonna slay it. Um, I don't think he'll even try. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, the only person over here is the character cards kid. Hi, I'm not fighting you again. I did win against him once. Once. <laughs> oh man. It's like poker. It's like playing poker in, in Vesperia, but it's different, obviously. C crap. I dropped ten gold in the pond. Forget it, Dad. You can find ten gold somewhere else. It's just ten gold. Like... Remember Magilu? Ten gold, murdered in its crib by a thug. It's not worth that much, it's only ten gold. Right. Hi, exorcists, how you doing? The cage was broken and the wanted Moloch got away. Such failure won't be tolerated. According to reports by the exorcists present, both incidents were caused by the same group of demons. We must suggest to, that the full might of the Abbey be used to eliminate them. Maybe we shouldn't be standing around listening to these conversations. They're, we're gonna get noticed one of these days. Hi there, kid. Now what are we gonna do? What's wrong? This dog came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology. So maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. Wow. I wonder why you weren't supposed to get too close to him. Let's talk to these kids. Fidel is the innkeeper's kid. He's so smart, he's practically a genius. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. We want to deliver a book, but our mom will worry. Can you tell Fidel we said sorry? <laughs> okay. Let's go and, um... I want to deliver that book. Can we go look for F Fidel? Wow. It actually stops you from leaving if you start the subquest. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Fidel? 
Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me. Thank you. Uh... I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Melio Dacian's script? You recognize Melio Dacian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the Age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Look at those two, all worked up over an old book. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. <sighs> We've received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're onto us. Quickly, hide in my house. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too. Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian's script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Fidel. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. Oh, Velvet. She's softening up a little bit, at least. Um, although, as soon as she started talking about um, back in the day with um, Laffy and, and Arthur, that was kind of painful. Hi, kid. How you doing? Longdow's dust is an incredibly rare mineral. Traces of it appear in the Vester Tunnels of Isleghand. I've written all about it in the recipe, so please take a look at it. Okay, we will have a look at it later. Um, I, yes, it now comes upon our map as a side quest. That's good. Um, so that should be in our items now as well? Yes, okay. Records show it was once excavated in the Vester Tunnels. Okay. 
Cool. Let's quickly go and sleep at the inn then. We probably don't need to, but why not? We have a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. There's a lady in here. Hello, lady. Your husband is a fine man. I envy you. My husband, on the other hand. Oh, I don't know about that. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's leave. Let's go. We don't need to be here no more. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I'm being silly. Er uh, oh we've got Norman Carrot. Beautiful. So like are Norman Carrots just named after Norman or you know, I I don't want to know. Oh I think I know what one of these exclamation points is gonna be. At least one. It might be two of them, I'm not sure. Okay, hi. There sure are a lot of exits around all of a sudden. Did something happen? I haven't heard anything. I know we need them around, but they make the place so stuffy it's hard to breathe. Yeah, no kidding. That is a nice horse. Right, hello. This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then... The water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary, I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes one through three have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So, class four administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want. But no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class Four administrative zones? I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna want to be prepared. You can now go to a Class 4 Administrative Zone. Woohoo. They're basically like the Malevolent Crucibles in Zisteria. Um, I'm not gonna bother doing them just yet. I'll maybe do them later on at some point, but I'm not really all that bothered about them for now. Hi. That island was so swampy, my mind was like mud. I'm still feeling bogged down by all that mire. Sounds pretty sucky. Yeah, um... No, I didn't actually go into any of them on my first playthrough. I wasn't really bothered about them. Um, and I know you can get some stuff from them, but... Uh, I don't know. I'll go to them. I will. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think you maybe get like a scare or something for finishing them all. We'll have to see. Hi. There's something suspicious about the Abbey. They must have some purpose other than protecting the common people. Even so, we still have to listen to them. We common people don't have a lot of choice. That is very true. When one... Um group of people are ruling over the entire world, there's not exactly much you can do to go against them. 
although Velvet's certainly trying her best. Hi there. That crew. They're awfully lively, aren't they? Aye. I, fe I envy them for being able to laugh like that at times like this. Yeah, they're very jovial. Right, hi there. I saw you over here. Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Warwick Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I just love it when people warn them about the demons. It's just like, yeah, about that. Those exorcists need to work hard, so let's fill their bellies with the, with the sea's bounty. We'll give them Yellowtail, Bullhead, and Kingfish. And Puffer and Stonefish and Blue Ringed Octopus. Blue Ringed Octopus? Hmm. You think I should become an e I think I should become an exorcist. All you have to do is order Malakim to fight, right? I'm good at teaching dogs tricks. Yeah, this is a great idea. That's a terrible idea. Don't do it. Right, okay. Um, let's go say hi to everyone down here. First mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! Y you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir! And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, this sickness was tiny potatoes. All right, then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. <sighs> I love seeing Aizen interact with his crew. They're all so lively. Dial is one thing, but Kuragane too? If he falls, he'll drown. Ha ha ha, we'll just pull him back in. He looks like he's having a good time. Bye. even without a face, you can tell. Yeah, it's called body language. <laughs> Hi. The Solitoma worked. Everyone is ship shape. We won't forget the favor you did us here. Yeah, you better not. <laughs> right, I don't think we need to get anything, so we might as well just sail off, shall we? The crew is back in meter than ever. To Salt, we sail. Yes, um, now we can go to the Salt docks, or we can go to the Class 4 Aberrant Quarter, but we're not going there. Let's just go to Salt. It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all... Wah! I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh. Well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu! Quit giving Loffy set confusing thoughts! <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. The Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does 
everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Uh... Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Solitoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I... despise them. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so, I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. That's called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow, what's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit-chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm, well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh... You know, like that. Like what? <sighs> well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand... Grimm's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noble woman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman. Okay, I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Magilu, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Chaploom! Bye-bye! Your feelings broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, we're in the East Silt, the city of the Southern Seas, and our expedition came back. Let's have a look at that really quickly. Take a look at this. of newt and mushroom spore, tender parts of prickle bore! Are you kidding? God dang it! Okay, fine. Scout ship setting sail. I just want the attachment! Okay. 
<laughs> so we're here in Isalt. I think the only place we could leave to now is the Aberrant Quarter, but we are not going there. So uh, let's go and grab some stuff, shall we? I, th I thought there was something down here. I was wrong. Why am I here? Look at all the penguins though, they're so cute. Anyway, uh, let's go back up and head into town, because why the heck not? And yes, I am brushing over that Magula thing. <laughs> right. Yoink. Hi there. A fellow fisherman told me he saw an octopus eating a whale. That octopus must have been a demon, which means demon blight has spread to the sea. Oh dear, that's not good. Water is easily corrupted, as um, a very wise person once told me. Hi. Excuse me, have you heard of a woman named Grimoire? Grimoire? Can't say I have. Doesn't sound like a Southgown name. Are you sure she's on this island? Is this your first time in Southgown? You need to protect your skin from the sun, or you'll be sorry. Thanks for the warning. Wait, was that a different person? Or was that the... Oh yeah, it was a different person, okay. I, I thought I got confused there. Oh, there's a chest down there. Huh. Hi cats, how you doing? But yeah, it's just chat below to slash me. Maybe later. Um, not right now. <laughs> I am the champion of Chambaloon. Right, let's go down here. Because I think I can go back and get that chest. Yoink. Oh, hello. You know, I don't think I ever bothered to explore this much on my last playthrough. Oh, do I have to go around the other way? Oh, okay, that would make sense. I do remember coming down this road, but... Okay, so... Ah, uh, okay, I have to go to the lower part and then I can do it. Okay, that makes sense. Anything else here? Nope, okay. I like this place, it's cool. Uh, can I go down this way? No, not yet. Okay. I say not yet. Oh my god, okay. Nothing here, okay. That's fine. Right, hi there. In my father's days, Southgate was a paradise where all you needed to do was fish. But now we're crushed between demons on one front and extra scrolls on the other. <sighs> My generation missed out on the good life. Yeah, they'll have had difficulties as well, but the scope is very different. Right. Is there anything behind this house? There's stuff behind some of the houses, but apparently not this one. Okay, it's fine. I got some tarnished silver coins. They're totally worth it. Oh my god. At a tavern. Oh, there's people to talk to. Hi there. Some folks up north keep criticize the people of Southgate for eating Pengon. I'm Southgan born and raised, but I see where they're coming from. After all, up north they eat rat pig. Now that's just downright cruel. Huh. That's interesting to hear the, um... The, I don't know, cultural differences? Oh my god, that is cool. Oh, I wish I could go to like a... Well, this is a tavern, right? Oh my god. Imagine if they had hammocks and all like pubs and things. Oh, uh, they, they break all the time though. Hi. <laughs> Oh! I didn't actually want to steal your money, but okay. I'm looking for a woman named Grimoire. Do you know her? Well, I've been here 29 years, but I still don't have a female acquaintance. Uh, right. Sorry I brought it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is cool. Um, Just some random dude complaining about his lack of a love life. That's fine. I'll go and talk to the exclamation point in a second. I just want to see what's up here first. I'm doing a lot more explora exploration this time around, which is fun. So how do you like our island? Nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logris. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry-eyed about the city and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for that. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? 
If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. That's very true, yeah. When I was younger, I used to be proud of Sokka traditions. Maybe I'm just grumbling like a typical old fogey. The culture here is rough, but that's not the but that's not the only thing that makes this place dangerous. There aren't many exorcists around. I'd feel safer in the city, where the abbey has a stronger presence. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Look at these paintings, they're really pretty. I suppose it's just assets from the game that they've put some filters on, but they're very nice. Um, okay, is there anything else to hear? Oh, there's another painting. Oh, that's pretty. Alright, let's leave. Okay, uh, we have some more people we can talk to over here. Hi there. Pardon me. We're looking for a woman named Grimoire. Do you know her? I'm afraid I don't. Oh, but I know where to get Grimworms. They're limb things, a bit like lugworms. You can use them as bait, but for my money, a catworm is always a better option. I see. Thank you for the advice. Well, that was a whole lot of useless information. That is true. <laughs> we don't really need to know about catworms, lugworms, grimworms, all that stuff. But, you know, you do you. Hi. I'm stealing your poison board. Nothing else still there? Okay. I think... I thought there was a way down that we could go, but... Maybe I have to go over this way. It's been a while since I've done, been here, okay? Alright, hi there. Oh, you're all northerners? Welcome to Isald. Sathgand is made up of hundreds of tropical islands. Before, each island had its own town and culture, but Demon Blight took most of them from us. Oh, but don't worry. There are lots of exits here on this island to keep us safe. That's good. Uh, have I stopped this guy from moving? I have. I'm just gonna stand right in front of you. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> if I didn't have stuff to do, I would stand in front of you all day, sir. Hi. Um... Do you know a woman named Grimoire? She's got a listless, aristocratic air about her, like a noble woman in her twilight. I don't know her, sorry, but I'll tell you one thing. A boy your age shouldn't talk like that. Be careful your tongue doesn't get you burned. Uh, alright. I'm sorry. Dang it, Magula, you're getting- Dang it, Magula, you're getting, um, left set in trouble. Bleh. I can't speak. That's- yeah. I can't speak. Right. Hi there. Okay. <laughs> Her voice is weird. Hi. At the cathedral, a man told me he lost his little brother to the 12 year sickness when they were boys. 12 year sickness? There's no cure for that. Some say you're born with it. Others say it's a curse that falls on those who've seen something inhuman. A curse? Is that really true? Don't worry. It's a very rare condition. Only one in tens of thousands of people will get it. You should be more concerned about demon blight. The, is, this is the same guy as before! <laughs> I'm in his way again! <laughs> Either that or he's trying to listen on, in on me. Uh huh. Yeah, I know what you're doing, man. These are mine now. I'm, I'm stealing them. Oh, and a cat's chest! To go with the cat souls, I presume. Uh, oof, they're getting more expensive. Oh, we got some aviator sunglasses. Let's have a look at those. Oh, no. ooh. Who do we want to wear some aviators? Let's put them on laugh set. <laughs> aviator sunglasses. This classic look speaks volumes about the wearer's uncompromising tastes. Uh, how do I zoom in? There we go. <laughs> they're beautiful. Okay, let's take those off. Um, and... Grab some more stuff because there's stuff everywhere. We're gonna have to like grade for cat souls again, I'm sure of it. Oh! Oh, this is how you go that way! Right. I've not done this before, so this is fun. Right, this is mine. And this is a man. Hello. It's become common practice to use South Gan lumber for shipbuilding, but there's a reason. Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in South Gan. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Midgan and Southgan were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs and floated all the way to Midgan. A Midgan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, returned with our ancestors here to Southgan. 
He had used the natent logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and Southgan, and the Age of Exploration began. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but within mere decades, Midgan declared war on Southgand. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, Midgand emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, Age of Exploration, more like Age of Exploitation. <laughs> when things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but... Southgan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigand. Shenanigand? This must have been a really fun place. Sounds like it. Demon Blight has robbed this age of smiles. But smile we must if we want to succeed. A smile is a gate that inv invites the shepherd. <laughs> If you smile three times in the mirror, Artorias will pop up. <laughs> and he'll ask you, Why do birds fly? <laughs> oh god, okay. I'll stop, I'll stop. Oh, I can't go this way. Of course I can't go this way. Invisible wall, right? Um, Right, let's head up this way. Because there's more stuff we need to look at. Er, is there anything in the sanctuary? Oh, I can't actually look at it because I've not been in there. Uh, I got the feeling. Okay. There are some people. I thought that- oh, there's the priest. There he is. Uh... Okay, let's talk to these people. I had a twin brother that died when I was little. It's been 60 years since he passed, but I still pray his soul rests peacefully. You have my condolences. Was it an accident? No, it was the twelve year sickness. He heard the voice of the sea and the wind, but I never could. He was always such a pure boy. That's just like um, the guy outside was saying. This must be the guy he was talking about. Huh. Hi there. My grandfather told me there were once many Empyreans. Amanok, ruler of water. Musef, bearer of flame. You may see a guardian of earth. Hyanua, Will of the Wind. Hmm, that's kind of confusing. Wait, what is a Nominar associated with? That is a point. Because in Zysteria as well, when you go to... Uh, I think it's in the Pendrago Shrine Church. Sir and Mickley were talking about the, the uh, side of Maltellus, which is up there. And obviously he's um, later on. Like at that point, he's one of the five lords. Um, and he didn't have an element associated with him either, so it's an everlasting question. What does the fifth Imperian or fifth Lord associate themselves with? Right. Hi there. Um, uh, okay. Please bless me with a large hall, safe voyages, a happy home, freedom from disease, financial stability, and whatever else comes to mind. Thank you. That's a lot to be asking for. Come, sinner! And repent your wicked deeds. Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. <sighs> yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. Uh, no, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Y yes I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? I love you, Rokuro. Perhaps people really are incapable of understanding one another. Perhaps. 
but I don't think that's true. I'm up. Yes, you're up. Okay, let's go. Let's leave. That's the only reason I put Rokuro as my um, person I was running around on the screen. Right. What am I going this way? Are there any more people here to talk to? Can I go around here? No, I can't. Dang. Invisible walls at it again. Okay, is there anything back here? Yeah, castle! And some coins. We don't care about those. Right, let's go this way. Okay, oh, here's a star. How fun. Um. Right, what way are we going? What's up here? Hi there, kids. How you doing? We've got a secret fort hidden beneath the floor over there. Don't tell any grown-ups, alright? Alright. I'll keep the secret of your secret fort a secret. Beautiful. That was absolutely wonderful. Oh, hey. That's the kids in the secret fort, right? People are gonna know what's up. These old houses are on stilts so that they stay above the water. At high tide, the town looks like one big raft. So that's the reason. At first, I couldn't tell if it was clever engineering or just shoddy craftsmanship. I think it's really cool, actually. Um, interesting design. And um, makes sense for the world building as well. I like it. Uh, okay, good. I thought he was going to trap me in there again. And I'm like, for God's sake, don't trap me in there so I have to run all the way around. I hate it when they do that. Still no leads on that grimoire lady. Mogulo, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? Take this seriously or I'll feed you to the sharks. Oh, what? I think I'd at least rate a kraken. Keep this up and I swear I'll eat... It's them! The final preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. They're sending him to Palamedes? Is that the name of a facility on this island? I had better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Understood. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Sister... <laughs> I know, I know, I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. So, there's a demon in Haria. It sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do! <sighs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I... I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes, that I did.
Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, and one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! <sighs> it's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. Okay, we have a skit here, but I think we're gonna leave that for next episode because um, this one's gone a little long. So, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today. Um, I can't remember what happened in this episode here today. Oh, yeah, not much happened actually, did it? Yeah, we ran back from Luring and then ran all the way here, and then it was a lot of running. Huh. Well, I hope you enjoyed it regardless. So yeah, thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you, hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time.